I am very sure that the Logitech G502 Hero is the best mouse on the market at the moment and a lot of people in the tech community agree on this and use this mouse as their daily driver. Now this is an upgrade to the G502 Proteus Spectrum but they haven't changed a lot because this mouse was already so good. But there are some changes which make it slightly better. Hey guys, I am Siddharth and this is Logitech G502 Hero Review. So the mouse looks really great, it's not trying to be subtle about the fact that it's a gaming mouse. It has this rubber material with a triangular mesh texture on both sides and you won't face issues with its grip. And it even has this texture at bottom, so there is plenty of attention to detail here. For lighting, we have the DPI indicator and the Logitech G logo and you can set any of the RGB colors on it. And you have the breathing effect which you can control the speed and intensity of. And you of course have the color cycle rainbow effect. The shape of this mouse is kind of suitable for hybrid grip. It's taller but shorter than Logitech G402 mouse and I personally preferred the shape of G402. And a friend of mine who is amongst the best counter strike players in the country also feels the same. The buttons on G402 were convex and on this mouse the left click is concave. You get used to it quickly and it doesn't make a big difference but I do prefer the shape of G402 over this. The buttons are laid out very nicely. Both the left and right mouse buttons are very clicky and have Omron switches which are rated for 50 million clicks. The Proteus Spectrum had 20 million click durability so this is a really nice upgrade. The extra buttons on this are really accessible and it's the reason I am using this instead of an MMO mouse. There is a large button for sniping which decreases the DPI by default so you can take those high precision shots. And then there are two buttons which are very easily accessible by thumb. Then you have two extra buttons on the front which you press with your index finger and they are not as easy to reach as the other extra buttons but they are pretty large so it's not an issue. You have a profile switching button on top which isn't easy to reach so it's best to leave it assigned to something like DPI or profile switching. The mouse comes with 7 feet long braided cable and this is a thinner cable than the last generation and I really like it. It bends easily, doesn't slow the mouse down and it's easier to manage. The scroll wheel also tilts left and right for horizontal scrolling which can be customized to act as individual buttons which is great but I found that it's very easy to send a tilt signal when you press the middle click which got pretty annoying as I used it for changing tabs. So I think that it's best to leave it with the default action. Now coming to the feature which won't let you switch to any other mouse without it is the switchable scrolling mechanism that Logitech has implemented here. You have this button behind the scroll wheel which lets you switch between this step scrolling mode which you will have to use for gaming and this free scrolling mode which is great for most other things in my opinion. I really like this mode and I keep it like this most of the times and I cannot describe how big of a change this has made. Scrolling web pages has become so much easier and in programs like Premiere it is also really amazing to scroll between large parts of long timelines which was not possible before and I had to bind scroll functions to my keyboard. This scroll wheel is made of metal so when you give it a spin, it keeps going as it develops momentum. And this really makes scrolling long parts of anything very easy and comfortable. You just have to move it once and then stop when you reach to your desired point. And it's not just good for long excel sheets, but it's great for everything other than gaming. Seriously, after switching to a wheel like this, it is impossible for me to go back to normal scroll wheel and it has changed so much. The only issue I see here is that the metal mouse wheel kind of moves around when you move the mouse in this free spinning mode. Coming to the sensor, Logitech has updated from PWM 3366 optical sensor to a new hero sensor. The previous sensor was already one of the best in the market and the newer version is supposed to be better. It has zero acceleration 
very accurate tracking and it goes up to 16,000 dpi which is of course an overkill for any purpose. I use dual 4K monitors and I use a dpi of less than 3000 and it's lower than that while gaming. Now there isn't a huge difference between the two sensors. I really tried side to side comparisons on my mouse. I really tried side to side comparisons on my mouse pad and I couldn't notice a difference. But that's not a bad thing because both of these sensors are probably the best sensors for gaming. Now you have the ability to adjust the weight of this mouse with metal weights and while the system is very cool, the mouse is actually quite heavy for competitive play at 121 grams even with all its extra weights removed. And all the people I know use this mouse without any of its weights. So that takes us to the gaming performance. So for gaming, everything about this mouse is excellent except for its weight. And that has made people not choose this mouse for professional competitive gaming. And while some popular streamers use this mouse for gaming, that alone does not make it the best for that. And I really think that if you want to play competitively, you should go for the G402 or the G Pro series or other mice in the Logitech lineup which I haven't tried. For casual gaming and non-professional competitive gaming at home, this is good so don't worry about that. This is one of the best gaming mice. The sensor, buttons, software features, everything is really great. It's just that it's a little heavy if you are very serious about wasting enjoying more than 3000 hours in a game. But again, this is my personal opinion and people using it for gaming don't face any issues. Logitech's software is really good. It's very easy to customize different buttons and you can do most things that you can imagine. You can set up macros and different commands for different profiles easily which you can program to work with different applications. But many times their software doesn't switch to the correct profile when you switch between programs which can get annoying because you have the buttons programmed differently. And that has caused me and my accountant to lose our work multiple times as I have Alt F4 combo set on one of these buttons which has different function in other applications. The mouse also has internal memory where you can store your DPI settings, lighting preferences and can even customize the button functions in 5 profiles which is great if you use it with a computer that doesn't have Logitech software. You can also assign G shift function to one of the buttons which switches to a different set of inputs if you press other buttons while holding this G shift button. So that can give you 8 extra buttons which is really great and might also make this a good MMO mouse. So in conclusion, I think that this is the best mouse ever made, at least for my use. The free spinning wheel is just something that I cannot go back from and this is also the mouse of choice for many YouTubers and it's really great for productivity. For gaming, I do think that it's a little heavy but I haven't had any issues with the single player games I play so it will also do well in that area. Now this mouse costs around 6000 rupees and the previous version of this is still on sale and you can find this at around 60% lower price of this. And if you have to choose between the two, I would say that it doesn't offer enough to spend that kind of extra money. But it does have theoretically much longer lasting switches and there are some subtle refinements so that could make it worth it for you. So that was it for this video. You can buy these mice from my affiliate links in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you disliked it. And subscribe to my channel with bell icon for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.